these are trying times. The global economy is in a downturn. Fear is driving our behavior and causing us to isolate ourselves mentally just as much as we're insulating ourselves physically from potential harm. I've questioned whether I really need to get the next cup of coffee at my favorite cafe or whether I should stay at home. Certainly, let's all take the necessary precautions to keep ourselves and our loved ones and others safe. And during this time, while we're going through this global crisis, let's remember how leaders behave and how we need to role model behavior in creating for others safe spaces both physically and mentally. Let's build trust and remember to nurture relationships. When times are tough, people need to believe that someone has their back. This isn't a time to lay blame or let fear erode our relationships. So be compassionate now more than ever. People need to see you strong in the face of adversity and they need your confidence. That doesn't mean that you can't show your own vulnerability. It just means that you're driven first by your sense of humanity, that you seek to listen first to understand and then to be understood and that you show others some appreciation. This calming will allow others to feel stability that you bring and you can encourage stability by having the end in mind and allowing others to ask questions and voice their concerns and learning that we're all in this together. This is not an us versus them. This is completely all about us in this together. Finally, be a beacon of hope and light and don't lose your positivity. It can be easy to do that when the world around us is reacting. We need to slow down and respond and we need to think things through to see the light at the end of the tunnel because there's always hope and where there's hope, there's love. Wishing everyone safety for you and yours and peace.